In this video, we're going to tour Silverleaf on my bike. Let's roll. All right, we're starting off our tour on the intersection of 210 and St. John's Parkway. This is north of the north entrance at Silverleaf. Here you'll find commercial, you'll find you know, your drugstores, your Publix. And then on the other side of 210, you'll find shops and restaurants. Now it's great to see the development that's been going on here because when I moved here in 2019, that development or that commercial site on the other side was not here. The land was just barely getting prepped, but now we have a gas station there, the shops and restaurants. If you keep going north on St. John's Parkway, you're gonna hit 9B, and 9B will take you to 95 and the 295 Beltway. All right, if you're new to my channel, my name is Charlie Flores, and I'm a local realtor here in St. John's County. And if you're looking to buy and or sell, I could definitely assist you. I've assisted many families uh, from out of state um, with their move here to Northeast Florida. Now, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for watching my channel. I was looking at my analytics the other day and I saw that people are watching from Canada, from Mexico, Italy. So I just wanted to say a quick hello to everyone. If you're not shy, just leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from and I'll say hello. All right, so I've arrived here at the intersection of Silver Lake and St. John's Parkway. To my right is John's Island, and we're gonna be riding in there, taking a look at the different neighborhoods that are being developed by the different builders. And across the street is Holly Forest, which is being developed by Dreamfinders. It's close to being closed out. Last I checked, there were just a couple of listings in the MLS, and they feature a small amenity center for the residents at Holly Forest. All right, here we are pulling up to Oak Grove, and this neighborhood is being developed by David Weekly. I did recently post a quick move-in video, so you'll see some quick move-ins that David Weekly is offering. Now, customers will have, or do have the opportunity to build from scratch here as well, so you can choose the lot and the floor plan that you'd like to go on there, and also choose the exterior and interior designs, structural options. So here at Oak Grove, David Weekly offers 50, 60, and 70 foot home sites. As you can see, they have home sites that back up to preserve. Now the smallest house available here at the Oak Grove is 2,154 square feet, and the largest is approximately 3,922. All right, so that was Oak Grove by David Weekly. We're gonna ride over to Courtney Chase that is being developed by ICI Homes. This is a golf cart path right here. All right, here to my left is the backside of Courtney Chase. All right, here we are pulling up to Courtney Chase. All right, so ICI Homes offers 50 and 60 foot home sites. As you can see here, these lots are available for purchase if you'd like to build from scratch. You choose all the options, your floor plan. And ICI Homes also offers quick move-ins here. So if you like a list of the available quick move-ins, feel free to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. And here you'll have preserved lots as well. Some are very deep. If you'd like to accommodate a pool, you can check that out. And they also have homes that back up to another home and water as well. All right, now let's head over to Courtney Oaks. Now Courtney Oaks is being developed by three builders, which are Ashley Homes, Mastercraft, and Riverside Homes. And the lots offered here are 70 and 80 foot lots. All right, let's go take a look. All right, we can see we have some cul-de-sac lots available. This one backs up to water. Here we have Riverside Homes model going up. Ashley's is coming soon. And then there you have Mastercraft's model. 
Here at Courtney Oaks, home size range from approximately 2,500 square feet to 4,200 square feet, and you'll find homes that back up to preserve and water. If you would like more information on Ashley Homes, Mastercraft, and or Riverside Homes, feel free to reach out. All right, so there is Courtney Oaks. There is Courtney Chase. And if you keep heading this way, that is where the new amenity center is going to be. So residents at Johns Island will be very close to the new amenity center. We'll be able to take their golf cart or walk over or bike over. All right, there's one last neighborhood here at Johns Island called Holly Landing. That neighborhood recently opened by Dreamfinders and we'll take a look. This is the Holly Landing neighborhood being developed by Dreamfinders. Dreamfinders offers 10 floor plans with home size ranging from 2,213 to 3,688 square feet. As you can see, most home sites will back up to water or preserve, and lot size here at Holly Landing is 50 feet. This concludes John's Island. Stay tuned for part two of this tour. This is Charlie Flores, your local St. John's County Realtor. I hope you enjoyed the video.